so I am headed to um, the Asia Festival and um, I don't know if you know anything about it but it's supposed to be there's this place where you get to see all these really cool exhibitions um, performances and eat all this amazing food from all over the Asian continent so I'm really excited about it and I'm going with some friends but I've also decided that my personal budget is just gonna be $30 and so let's see if I'm able to stay within it and still have a great experience so right out the gate I was wondering if I had made a good decision coming here because I had such a hard time finding parking there were just so many people there and I wasn't sure that I was gonna have a good time I mean, even just walking around, I was just like, what exactly am I supposed to do here? Um, you know, am I supposed to just get food from these food trucks and then seeing the prices of the food in the food trucks? It just was not seeming like it was going to be something that was uh, good for me. And I definitely was not going to be able to stay on the budget because I'd been fasting all day. So I was really, really hungry. And then the most miraculous thing happened. Yeah, you guessed it. I saw the food stalls and these ding skewers that you're seeing right here. I didn't know it, but they were going to change my life. So I knew I was going to eat, right? But I also knew I had a budget I wanted to stay under. So I decided to explore all the stalls and what the prices were looking like to know okay this is what i was gonna eat or you know this is what i wanted to see if i could finesse um from like a friend or whatever and some of my friends were still on their way because i had come early so i decided to just explore a little bit more and i ventured inside of the actual asia times square they had some food food stalls set up there as well as you know some other stores that you know had maybe anime or jewelry or just whatever um you know the vendor wanted to showcase and then the one thing i really took note of was just the sheer prevalence of sugarcane um in almost every single stall there was something going on with sugarcane they had you know juicers for this they had um some kind of salad thing that they were doing and I just, I never realized how prevalent sugarcane was in um, some Asian countries because in Nigeria, you know, we have sugarcane too. And we just, at least for me and my family, we just ate it, you know, like sucked on the juice or whatever. Not the way that they do here though. So as you can see, it was really like sugarcane here, sugarcane there, sugarcane everywhere. And so that was very fascinating to learn. And I just went around exploring a bit more. And I noticed that the inside stalls, they had first of higher prices, but they also had variety as far as the offerings. So it wasn't just skewers here, there and everywhere. Um, they had different things like um, this one stall had um, waffles or waffles I don't know how you say it but like they had different offerings that just were not appealing to me I knew I had to just go back and eat some meat and so you'll see that's what I did because yeah your girl is not here for vegetables um, that's not in my budget but it was still really fun really cool to see everything that they had One thing I really enjoyed was how they had different performances and just cultural representation set up as far as, you know, different countries that were um, involved in this Lunar New Year Festival. I just wish they had taken the time to give us a little bit more of a backstory or context behind um, some of the things that were being done. If you're watching and you know what's happening right now, please leave a comment and let me know because I definitely did not uh, find out what was going on from anyone. My friends hadn't gotten there yet. So I was kind of wondering what they were doing. And then, of course, Cher Bear shows up and she brought some friends. So that was fun. I got to meet new people and we got to take some pictures together.
So I ate the beef skewer and it was okay. It was good. It was like some beef with um, like herbs and stuff like that. And then I tried this thing that was supposed to be the heavenly beef slices. But as you'll see, it's really hard to eat. Um, it was just really, really hard to chew on. But at the end of the day, it's beef, so get the thumbs up from me. And then I tried this beef skewer, and it was actually really good. Um, it was the best one I'd had so far, and it only costs like $3, so I was excited. Um, and then a friend came and gave me the best thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> y'all when i tell you the skewer literally transformed my whole night it was five dollars and i didn't even buy it myself shout out to new friends that you make because i was still able to stay under my budget at that point i really only spent like fifteen dollars when you think about the beef skewers that i had bought but now I was able to really just go around, enjoy the sights, and just see the performances that were happening while I waited for my other friends to come. And of course, I was going to show them the skewer. Anyways, I did continue to go around while I waited just to catch all the sights that I was missing and uh, watching the kids in the costumes um, dance around. They didn't try to explain what was going on, but that was fun. Uh, then I got my text from my friends that they were there, so I walked out to see the night view, and it was so beautiful. Um, I couldn't get really good pictures or videos, but it was gorgeous, and then they were here, so we got to go do what we wanted. So we spent some time taking pictures, and here's the difference between a professional and me. <laughs> and sugar cane. Yeah, pineapple with some kind of citrus. I don't know what quack watch it. <laughs> yeah, diluted pineapple with um, citrus, like orange juice and some lemon. That's why it is like So, are you recommending this? It depends. I wouldn't always drink this, but... Okay. But well, you're hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. What are those, first of all? Love Why? <laughs> it's not dry. It's not what? It's not dry. It's not dry? It's good? Is it worth the money you pay? It's basically $2. So. I wouldn't buy it again. So what's the best out of everything? Um, Is that one pork or beef? <laughs> so i've been talking about the pork skewers for so long that as soon as they came we had to stand in line get some and then do a review so that's what we did so we're in line trying to get some pork skewers <laughs> This is the best ding skewers. We have we have a professional paparazzi. Alright, they're gonna try it for the very first time. How is it? Yeah. 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 With the gang together, we were feeling very adventurous, um, so we definitely tried some things we normally wouldn't. I don't eat it, but you can get it and tell me how sure. it is. It's not whole job. Yeah. Baby octopus, taste test, let's go.
I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not no. raw. No, it's not raw. I wish it was hot. Mm, it's too cold. You know what I just realized? Someone <laughs> looking at it, it looks like a burger. Come here, I'm looking at that. Stand up. The sauce sells it. <laughs> okay. It's sweet and it's spicy. It's, okay. It's really nice. It's chewy. It's cooked, so it's not raw. So what does this rank above the pork? It's two different stuff. Oh. Yeah. I remember if I might be fried if it was crispy actually. I'm not fried it Yeah. And if it had some like if it was hot of the green. Okay, so then you'd have been the best? Yes. Two drinks. Yeah, two drinks. Tell us about the tell us about the food here. Okay. So we have octopus tentacles. Okay. And we have a Kai sausage here, pork belly. So we started hunting for a place to sit down and eat properly so that we could review what we had just gotten, the drinks and the food. I don't know why we were looking at all this jewelry, but we were. Sparkly. Okay, we are here at Bistro B, trying to dine in. I will let you know what we decide. Okay, so... The mocktail, it's good. I recommend. I don't think you need all the extra garnishes they have. Like, why am I eating the least? And I'm actually not sure what that is, but it's good. Okay, y'all. These people have so many things to choose from in their menu. It's actually insane. How have I never been here before? Look at all of this so much and the place is packed y'all we're at 200 plus items on their menu of course they have the vegetarian but you know we're not, we're not looking there <laughs> look at this we're at 300 items 300 <laughs> and then we somehow jumped to 500 how did we get to 500 how are we at five? How are we at six hundred? So there's four hundred. Oh my goodness! The four hundred is the drinks. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Yeah, look, they put the four hundred in the back because it's the drinks. I'm not sure why that why they didn't just do it in order, but yeah, over over seven. It's over seven hundred items. Seven hundred and two. Oh yeah. Seven hundred and three. Seven hundred and four items on their menu because you just need all those options. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So, so we, we have. have So what's what's the consensus? This looks good. Yeah, that looks good. But what about your own that you're eating here? How is it tasting? Looks like rice. Rice This is So why are you still eating more? <laughs> I'm telling you this, I need to make it. 
Okay, okay, okay. But we want to know about the meat. We need to know where the meat is at. Yeah, that's pepper steak, but this one is Mongolian beef, right? I feel like you've had this before. No? I don't you know this should be all the time. It's not spicy. Not at all. I told you it wouldn't be. But uh the meat is juicy, actually. Can you try the pepper steak and let me know which one is better? So the pepper steak is sweet sauce, but that one is spicier sauce? It has more of a to it, I would say. Okay. In my mood right now, I'll say this is more than I'm Okay. I'll give it to them, they don't have to depend on Yeah? It's more dry. That's good. But I know you said you didn't like how the rice was plated. Like, I mean, I mean, I'm someone who likes to make my food very well. Actually. The rice should not be broken. It should be in the bowl. Yeah. yeah. I, mean, I mean, you are our resident chef that won the cook off, so you know, makes sense. All right, so I am back, and I was um, under my budget. So I consider this trip a success. Um, if you enjoyed this content, definitely subscribe, like, share, and turn on your alerts so you get notifications when I upload videos. I will see you soon. Thank you. Bye.